I'm at downtown Limaru, outside the white building that most people should recognize as the spawn of Limaru. We live in a volatile world, and nothing has shown us that more strongly than the COVID-19 pandemic. Many of our lives changed drastically. We were forced to stay at home, and to work, and study from home, and unable to meet our loved ones or travel. It is unfortunate that one of the members of our server, Sir Cherry, has caught COVID-19. We have no updates about his condition, but from the recent interactions with him on the server, it is safe to assume that he has either recovered or otherwise in a stable condition. While some places are successfully controlling the spread of the virus, I do strongly urge everyone not to let their guard down and to continue practicing measures to contain the spread of the disease, such as safe distancing, wearing a mask, and avoiding large groups of people. Throughout the year, Limaru has seen a lot of change. To start off, we have started a server partnership program, which not only expands our community and manpower, but also allows us to exchange ideas and innovations. The problem with a community is that there can only be so many leaders, with the server partnership program, we have almost all benefits of a server merger, but we keep our positions, and that I feel is one big achievement that we have attained. Limaru isn't just a player base that plays solely on Limaru, and in fact, most of us came from different Minecraft servers, and we still frequently play on those servers. So, we have taken advantage of this and asked people and asked ourselves, what do they like about other servers, and what do they not like about them? We noticed that on many city servers, the buildings are empty and unused. We changed that by encouraging people to fill up our buildings with offices, homes, shops, and more. We noticed that on many city servers, everything is so uniform and organized that it just seems boring. We changed that by making our cities more random. Our streets, a lot of them are curved. Our metro systems, they go in all sorts of weird shapes. Our land masses are all custom made with changing terrain and special features like lakes and waterfalls and forests. I have said it in the YG City 2020 video myself. We are making YG City not static, but dynamic. And I believe that this embrace of change and learning and observing will propel us to become one of the best, if not the best, Minecraft City server in the near future. Of course, part of this change involves our city's infrastructure. Because of our vast diversity, we see new interesting ideas popping up everywhere. Let's have a river in YG City, and there we have it, a new river. Let's have sea transport, and there we have it, a new port town. Let's make a bridge between YG City and Losnik, and well, that, that is still un uh, undergoing. Anyways, we want Nimaru to be a technological and innovation hub. Not too long ago, we released the new EQV Metro Card system, a plugin custom built by Minecharter61 himself. We're also exploring an integrated player management system where administrators can modify a player's roles and players can view their roles and see which ranks they can apply for using either Discord or their web browser. I chose to record this message in Nimaru's spawn because this building has been standing here for the past two years, right from where we started. And I believe it serves as a symbol to us that amid changing times, some things will last forever. Our relationships with friends and family will last forever. The events that change our world will live with us forever. One day, Nimaru will no longer exist, but the bonds we had and the memories we made will live with us forever. As we look towards a new year, let us strive to push ourselves even further, to embrace change, and to strive together as one community, one world forward. 
Thank you and have a great Christmas and New Year.